Hi, I'm Michelle from GardenWorks, and today I'm going to show you how to plant up some clematis into a beautiful container using an obelisk and adding some annuals for some summer color. So just start with a really good container soil. I'm using the GardenWorks Planter Box Mix and just fill your container up. Next thing I'm going to do is choose my obelisk so that my clematis will be trained to grow up it. Just insert it into your soil and you're ready to plant your clematis. So today I'm gonna to be working with the Clematis Armandi Snowdrift, which is a beautiful fragrant blossom through March and April, but it has beautiful evergreen leaves throughout the year. There's lots of different vines you can choose from. This Clematis with the beautiful white uh, flowers on it is called Toki, and also Honeysuckle is a lovely vine to use, and it attracts hummingbirds to your garden. So when you purchase your vine, it's gonna be tied up onto a wooden stake. So you wanna make sure that you're careful when you're taking the vine out of the container. There is a bit of a staple at the bottom, so you wanna undo that, and then just undo the twist ties. container because it's quite large. I'm using three of the Armandi Snowdrift Clematis, so I'm just going to undo the other two that I have. So now that I've got my Clematis in the container, I'm just going to start attaching it to my obelisk and just using a little bit of twist ties or garden twine. It's really easy just to weave it through the obelisk as well and it'll just start to grow that way. So now that I have my Armandi Snowdrift Clematis planted, um, this is going to have, it's an early bloomer so it blooms March to April, so it's going to have the beautiful evergreen leaves throughout the summer. But what I want to add is some annual colour around the front of the container, around the lower part of the container and to have summer blooms and summer color throughout the season. The flowering annual I'm gonna choose is begonias. It's part sun. These all like part sun, so that's really important. But instead of just having blooms, I'm gonna choose some with beautiful foliage. So this coleus has beautiful chartreuse and the burgundy in the leaves. The Ipomia is a beautiful chartreuse vine, so that will trail over the container as well. And every container loves a little bit of flowering bacopa, so I'll add that in. nice to add a finishing touch to your container. I'm going to add a little bit of moss. So I'm finished. I've planted everything and I'm going to give it a good thorough watering because that's really important once you uh, just finish planting and uh, watch it grow throughout the season and enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for more creative ideas on container gardening.